What up, Pandu? It's Peter Von Panda here. Hey, ordered myself this uh, baton telescoping flashlight. And my presumption on this bad boy is that it's meant to be a flashlight primarily, but it's also supposed to be like a self-defense protection device. This is how it comes. I've seen a handful of these on Amazon where I bought this. I can't actually find it for sale, this specific one, but there seem to be ones just like it or very, very similar. Uh, some that seem to be a little bit different, but I thought I'd just kind of show you this one. I'll try to put a link to it in the description if I can find the exact one again. But first of all, let's talk about a couple of the electronics pieces. It comes with this plug to charge it, and that's because there is a little rubberized covered port right there where this can plug into so if you're using like a lithium ion rechargeable battery I think it's like a 14200 am I right about that uh, you can certainly recharge it directly in the flashlight if you're not you can use a little carriage like this looks like for three AAA batteries and fit it in the back end here now let me show you how to do that so if we unscrew this back end here lots of threads lots of threads kind of it's not that heavy i mean it does have some mass but obviously like aluminum construction you can see rubber gasket in there so that it should create a pretty nice seal and here's the battery that i that it actually came with uh so it's an 18650 battery so if you have an 18650 battery great uh this one came with it it comes with this little sleeve to keep it from rattling around to give it a nice good fit there and then this screws back on and like i said it's kind of a lot of threading so you have that obviously this is like the handle and if you're familiar with you know those telescoping batons you know security batons like asps or whatever uh those are of you know those may or may not be legal in your jurisdictions and so a lot of those aren't being sold you know i don't find them any more dangerous particularly than a golf club or a baseball bat but you can buy those all over so it's a little funny to me i mean i'm sure the concealability of it is what scares everyone uh but it is what it is i'm sure a knife you can conceal too and i think that is probably is just as dangerous um but the handle here is kind of a little bit of a curved it's it's bumped it you know each of these is like a little bit of a bump there's some uh cuts and uh, texture in there so you can get a good grip it's it's nice and relatively nice and thin kind of like a, a knife handle so uh you know hands of various sizes can get a good grip on it the back end here this cap looks just like this and it has a little probably uh stainless steel you know nip in there and so that's for i'm sure breaking glass i'm sure you could hit someone with it i mean if i kind of tap my hand here i can feel how that would be really uh painful even though it's rounded but I have a feeling that's more of like a glass breaker, kind of like those automotive security tools. See here, it looks like a brass button. Power on, power off, and then uh, kind of the rapid clicks for scrolling through different modes on the light. The cover again for the battery there. The um, there, There's this little collar. It's like a two-piece collar. You can see here it's skeletonized, so you could clip on things to it. There's obviously this clip, this like little carabiner clip with this... Um, fairly thin fairly delicate uh nylon ribbon on it you know if this were more like paracord or uh just a cord or a nylon you know a thicker nylon cord i'd feel a little better about it i you know i i'm I assume you could put your hand through here carry it like this you wouldn't have to worry about it kind of flinging out of your hand as much but that's what it's there for and then here is the housing for the 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 light bulb now i will say the texturing you know look at the length of this sucker and two-thirds of it is kind of this this telescoping housing for the light itself so one it's a pretty <laughs> decent sized club just like this but it will extend out and give you some more you know leverage now the way it does that is this actually kind of twists into the base somehow so when i put it all the way down here you can see it's kind of spring loaded and wouldn't stay and i thought that was a little strange because i couldn't get it to stay like that but you pull it down here and then twist it kind of an eighth of a twist uh clockwise it'll stay in place and then if you untwist it um you know it'll come out so twisting it uh clockwise like this kind of locks into place at any one of these levels so you know i've noticed it's kind of like those shower curtain rods that you know attached to different sizes so if you want it at this length 
and then give it a little twist here, it'll stay in that position so it won't go in and out. Um, so even if you kind of extend it out all the way, twist it like that and it'll hold that position. So that's kind of nice. You can see here it's like ribbed and uh, I'm, I think maybe these slots in here help with the kind of the gross adjustments where you put it, it'll kind of fit into those and, and keep it from sliding in and out, okay? So I just assume that's how it works. Obviously, even in its most compact form, it's, you know, appears to be over a foot long, you know, maybe about a foot long. And then when you extend it out here, you do get a pretty nice additional length on it, right? I mean, that's pretty decent length, right? So, um, you know, if you wanted to use this for self-protection, I'm sure you could. Now, if you look at the knurling up here on the, the flashlight end, you can see it has uh, cuts horizontally, vertically down the, the length of the, the, um, the barrel here. It has uh, each of the kind of the, each of the protrusions is kind of cut like a gear. So while they're sharp in a way that the pressure is kind of focused on each of the tips here it's not sharp like you'll cut anything but this is certainly not comfortable to grab and i would definitely think if you were to kind of hit something with it that wouldn't feel great you can see kind of the impressions of my hand here you know so it's a little bit of like a poor man's or maybe a rich man's um lucille or something like that uh, castle type edge which is kind of similar to the tactical flashlights out there this rounded crystal on there and then you can see the uh you may not be able to see it there but if i loosen it up here you can see the the the, the led bulb the element there and as it goes back that stays in place so it's always back here and so what you end up doing is by sliding this fore or aft you are kind of adjusting the focus of the light now let's take a look at that light so if i hit the little silver or the brass colored button here i can turn it on and it'll scroll through the different modes so right there it's it's kind of on the brightest setting you get a pencil beam um kind of where it's right there and as the further you go out the more pencil like the thinner the beam the narrower the focus is the, the more you pull back and it's really not until you get pretty close to that element that it starts to really widen out this is as far back as it'll go if i tighten this down like that you can see i can get a pretty bright light here and it's it's pretty bright right that's it's definitely not you know it's 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 it appears as bright as any you know other tactical led flashlight so i'm not disappointed with the brightness but you know for the widest pattern being out here and for a very narrow pattern when it's extended out it's going to be like that now again <laughs> The, the whole purpose to this may be to kind of get around some rules of telescoping self-protection devices. You know, the fact that it's a flashlight and that comes in a telescoping, you know, form factor like this. You know, the fact that it has a flashlight might be totally really irrelevant for your primary purpose, but it's nice that it has a flashlight. In fact, those extendable batons often have like an LED uh, flashlight that you can screw into the reverse end. So it's maybe nice to have both of these. You know, I, I don't know if you had to job where you went and had wild dogs or something like that that you might uh, run into it's probably nice to have something like this uh, um, bears wolves lions tigers scarecrows uh, so you know this is kind of a quick look at it here let me go through the rest of those modes there so if we click it again it goes into strobe click it again high and I'm doing half clicks here low strobe high low strobe so those are the three modes let's go ahead and just take it outside and try it in the dark and i've got my uh, telescoping baton flashlight here we'll go ahead and turn it on and it's in the most collapsed state right now and so you can see here pretty wide pattern uh those led uh bulbs or elements you know tend to be pretty bright and so uh you know you get a pretty standard flashlight but a really well-defined pattern i mean that it doesn't kind of bleed off in you know outside that circle much at all it really gives you you know as i'm shining it out here five ten feet in front of me you get kind of like a 10 foot wide pattern in front of you and it's pretty much just a straight circle now if i go ahead and extend it this is where yeah let's see if we can do it one-handed here uh it pretty quickly because it's a two you know you pretty quickly even coming out here and now i'm like two inches out you get to that pencil beam and in fact you can kind of see the the shape of that led element 
um, as it's just barely extended. Now as I extend it out even further, you don't really, it's not really compressing that beam anymore, uh, but it does go out there quite a long way. You can see it on the tree out there. That's pretty far out there. Um, so pretty powerful. I haven't even charged this. This is only charged with what it uh, comes with out of the box, but um, it's certainly definitely usable as a flashlight, although probably more so in its most compact state. And if you're using it as a flashlight, that's probably where you're going to want to be if I lock it back down here. Now, like I said, uh, does it work as a security device? Absolutely. I mean, I would not want to get hit with this thing. It's pretty light. You could definitely carry it in a backpack if you were um, just going on a trip or hiking the Appalachian Trail and just wanted a little bit of kind of manual force protection or something like that. It's certainly something you could keep in your nightstand or under your bed, and it's going to be a lot more uh, concealable or smaller, easy to carry, and with the flashlight, maybe even more useful than something like a baseball bat, which I definitely know people do keep around. So I would definitely prefer this over that, but there it is, telescoping security baton flashlight. Now I've also seen these where instead of a flashlight, they have like a, an electric taser on the end. Now, again, you're gonna have to be a really up close or personal for that to be useful. And I definitely kind of like the flashlight, you know, something that goes bump at night. You can certainly grab it and use, use it for, uh, for investigation, but here it is, Peter Von Panda. Out.